pleasure connecting our lives to help us survive so we spend our time to the fullest we can hi welcome to professional insights created by dementia action alliance i'm proud to be your host today laurie share during our professional insight podcast we have educational conversations with professionals in the dementia community to provide answers and support to people living with dementia and care partners. My guests today are Valine Reese and Clancy Blair. Valine has been a home care partner for over 10 years and is now a home care partner to Clancy, who's living with dementia and a really wonderful part of Dementia Action Alliance. Valine, what is the role of a home care partner? The role of a home care partner would be coming in and I would say providing a safe environment for that individual. Um, secondly, I would say it would be there, a person would be there to help that individual. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, just to provide that independence for that client um, you're there to assist with daily needs and that would be from anything to errands to have helping keeping the house tidy um, daily reminders meals prepping dinner things like that I would say um, and lastly I would say just companionship um, there's a friend, someone who's there just in case something comes about, a question, um, someone who's there for um, conversation, just that um, companionship because you're building um, hopefully a long-term friendship. Yeah. That's right. Val is awesome. She's there for me. Yeah. Thanks, Clancy. Um, so yeah, um, I would say that safety, um, we're there so that that person can keep their independence and overall companionship. It's really important, building a really good um, long-term friendship, someone that they can trust. That sounds awesome. We all need somebody like that, even if we don't have dementia. Just <laughs> having a good friend sounds, yeah. that, that's just really neat. Um, Clancy. How does Val and a home care partner help you? Uh, she, she she's drives me. She drives me to sound check and Whole Foods, and she 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 helps my wife safe when I'm. Okay, I, I helps 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 yeah, it's helpful to my wife. Yeah. She's and when she's at work, she knows I'm okay. Oh, that's neat. So that that allows your wife to work and yet not worry about you. Yeah, that's. That must be very important to her, I'm sure. <laughs> it really um, is. And does it make you feel, having someone there with you, does it make you feel more independent or less independent? More independent because I can go places at Soundcheck, Whole Foods, things like that. That is just awesome. Val, where does someone look for... Um, to try and find a home care partner. I mean, I, I haven't seen them in my neighborhood, but I don't know. And where do you find someone and what qualities or qualifications should we look for if we're wanting a home care partner? Yeah, um, that's a really good question. Um, I believe word of mouth is very important, I would say, for one. I mean, word of mouth, someone who knows someone. Um, there's always someone around who can I feel can tell you about an experience or um, you know that they've had or a friend's experience and you know word of mouth I, 
I believe is very important. Um, secondly, I would say the good old internet, you know, <laughs> you can always um, go on the internet and type in, you know, home care partner or um, home care agency and um, put in your area and all kinds of information um, comes up. But um, for myself, I would say I've met a lot of wonderful people just through word of mouth and having um, a good reputation and someone telling someone about me. Mm -hmm. And when, how do I know if I'm getting the right person? I mean, what qualities do I look for? Right. So you want to, you want to look for someone who's very responsible, um, someone with a good reputation, um, someone with a good background, um, a great personality, um, someone who's patient, someone who's calm, and someone that you can depend on. Um, this person is going to be there with you um, all kinds of hours of the day. And um, so it's very important to look for someone who you know that you can depend on and you can rely on and call upon. So um, that's very important. Someone who's experienced, I would say, um, would be great qualities to look for in a person. Okay, and roughly how many hours do you currently work or spend time with Clancy? <laughs> I don't know. Is Clancy work or is that fun? <laughs> <laughs> we have a lot of fun, I would say. Uh, Clancy and I are growing very close, I feel. Um, that's my opinion. Yeah. Uh, we've been together for uh, maybe five months now. Yeah. Um, and it's just, it's, a, it's really rewarding. And um, we get to do a lot of things together. So I'm with Clancy. Um, I started with maybe 15 to 20 hours and now I'm close to 40 hours a week with Clancy. I see him Monday through Friday, um, whether it's four hours a day and sometimes I'm with him for close to eight hours a day. Clancy has a very busy schedule sometimes <laughs> and his wife is working. She has a very important job. So I'm here with Clancy. Um, close to 40 hours, I would say. Yeah. And um, we, we have a lot of fun together. That's just awesome. I know at DAA, Dementia Action Alliance, we try to keep Clancy pretty busy and we still have more than <laughs> three videos. And does he sing to you at all? He <laughs> sings at soundcheck. Yeah. I sing my song. Yeah. Uh, can, well, Clancy, it wouldn't be a complete interview with you if you didn't sing your song for us. I'm all right now. Yes, I'm all right. I'm all right now. Yes, I'm all right. I'm going to be 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 all right. That's right. Wow. We love that song, Clancy, and we, we love you. We're so honored to have you as a yeah. part of our Dementia Action Alliance family. Um, Val and Clancy, I want to thank both of you for being with us today and for taking time to do to do this interview with me. It's been quite a pleasure. Thank you, Lori. Thank you. And I'd also like to thank you, our audience, for joining DAA for this Professional Insights podcast. Please visit our website, daanow.org, to view other podcasts, find valuable resources, and find ways to connect with other people living with dementia through our vir virtual discussion and engagement groups. Dementia Action Alliance is committed to enhancing lives, connecting people, and increasing understanding. Thanks again and have a great day. We can, so we